So for today, we're going to be reviewing the Assassin's Creed armor. Sorry, this took a while, but I've been super, super busy uh, with work and the videos and the second channel It's just I have been so busy. So I do apologize. But if you guys like the video, like and subscribe. We're going to be looking at all of the armor, how it shaders and pretty much that's it for the specific like armor piece videos. I usually do that separately. So that way you guys can enjoy just each of that, each of the examples, because if I did it in one fat video, it'd be like. 30, 40 minutes, and I feel like no one wants to see that. So again, I appreciate y'all and let's just get into it. So for this one, it's going to be a little different. We're not going to be looking at all of the classes. We're going to be looking at them individually because realistically, all of them are just different. And I didn't want to like go through each of them like at the same time. I want to go them through them one by one. So that way you guys can see each of the individual pieces better. So I might do this for all the classes, depending on like if the armor is varied enough to like warrant it. But if they're super close or if they're like a play playlist armor, then I'll probably just do all of them together. So that way you guys can see the uniformity between the whole armor. But if it's something like this where the armor is vastly different, we'll probably just look at it individually. So that way I think it's just better that way. So, so to start off with the hunters, I think uh, it's probably the weakest Assassin's Creed armor in the game. Honestly, there's so many pieces to it that kind of really piss me off. And I think there's only two pieces from this whole set that actually look really good. Uh, helmet, I think, is one of them. I think the helmet looks really, really good. You can also turn off the glow with certain shaders in the eyes, which is really cool. If you want to go for a Spartan theme, the helmet's going to be really cool. Why you would want to go for a Spartan themed set for your hunter, I never will fucking know. But I mean, there it is if you want to do it. If I sound a little salty, it's because I am, because I do think the hunters got gypped hard on this one. I don't know why the Spartan look went for, or I. Is it Sparta? I think it was Sparta for that Assassin's Creed. I I just don't think it was perfect for the Hunter, if I'm being quite honest. I think the Sparta look would have looked way better for the Titan. I speak upon this on my initial reaction of the armor. If you guys haven't seen it, it's right here. But it's just really weird for Hunters to have gotten this set when, you know, Titans could have gotten a better set for the Sparta look. Um, You guys could have done like, uh, like a very like technical and like metal body, like actual like human body with armor on it. So that way it could look like how Spartans used to look because a lot of this set just looks really fucking bad. Uh, the arms I think are terrible. Uh, one side being asymmetrical. That's like not even like my gripe about it. It's just the fact that it looks lazily put together. One armor, like just there's only one side that has armor and the other side just looks like you're wearing a regular sleeve. Uh, the chest piece is fine. It's not good or bad. It's just like it's there. It exists. I think the boots are probably the worst offenders. Uh, where do I even begin? Uh, it's asymmetrical. It's boring looking. The boots look way too square. There's just so many pieces to this set that really just I'm ha has me scratching my head like, man, you guys really could not find any better way to make a Spartan themed set for the hunter and we kind of look like hobos i'm gonna be real with you guys like if sparta had hobos we would look like that hobo the only good pieces i think is the helmet and the cloak uh and that's it i think those pieces are gonna be the best because even the boots i am so disappointed with the boots because you guys have we have the like the tassels uh that's part of the boots and i think that's super cool it's just that the actual like feet and even the legs just are so terrible. Like I, I don't want it. Like whoever designed this, I don't want to make you feel bad. But at the same time, like you, I personally think you did a terrible job. Um, again, it's just, it's not even the asymmetrical thing. Like, let's just get that out of the way. I don't care that it's asymmetrical. This is the hunters. We only ever get asymmetrical pieces. So at this point, fuck my life. But even with this set it just looks so so boring and if it wasn't for the helmet and cloak i think this would have been the worst eververse armor set i've ever laid eyes on and that's a really powerful statement considering i really hate the curse of osiris eververse armor but even then that armor still looks cool like it looks cool it's just that this one it's literally two pieces that really save it and not even saves the whole set. It just saves those two pieces for me. So 
I know I'm a little I'm, I'm a little hard on this one, but it, to be fair, I think it's terrible. The fun funny thing though is I think a shader is really well. Uh, funnily enough, it, I think a shader is super super cool for the shader. I'm just gonna have them by, side by side so that way you guys can see it. Because again, I don't want to make this video too long, but for Echo Anger, I think I like a lot of the colors that I'm looking at. There's a lot of white in there, but for Abyssinian Gold, you can see a lot of black in there as well, which is really really cool. So. I mean, the chest piece alone looks really cool for like a very uh, black look. The other cool thing is for the helmet for Abyssinian Gold, all of it is black, even the, the armor piece, which means that that helmet takes off colors as well with certain shaders, which is pretty cool. Uh, the Abyssinian Gold for the cloak is also really cool. The only gripe I have is that the medallion that holds the cloak together is brown. Other than that, everything is super dope. I really like the cloak a lot to the point where I made one of my favorite sets from uh, what's what video was it? I think it was the uh, the Iron Banner set. I was using the chest piece with it and it looks super, super cool. I'll have the video up right now if you guys want to check it out. But it is definitely one of my favorite sets that I made and it is using a piece from the Assassin's Creed set. It's just that man, dude, whoever thought giving Hunter the sparta look i just i just want to talk i just want to see what your mind is at because it makes absolutely zero sense out of everything you guys could have chosen sparta for hunters just is weird um i i don't know let me know what you guys think in the comments below as for the Titans, you guys got the Wolf Kiss set, and I think this is by far the best set that you guys got. From the all of the Assassin's Creed look, I think this is the coolest set. This is going to be the most versatile set as well, just because each piece is actually good. Let's look at the helmet real quick. I think this helmet is going to be really good for warrior type sets, which is going to be cool. Chest piece is super dope as well. I'm not a big fan of the shield, but even then, I still use this chest piece a lot. For the arms, has fur, which immediately I know a lot of people are going to like. Uh, boots also has fur but it's also very plain so you can combine it with other really cool pieces and the mark itself is actually really cool as well a lot of the pieces for this whole set are fire uh like tier s like s tier a tier a lot of these pieces are like minimum a tier with like probably the boots being the only b tier everything else is so good and so versatile that i'm like the chest piece I've already used in multiple sets, the arms I've used in for multiple sets, the boots I've already used in, in the set as well. I've used this set so many in so many other armor sets that it's wild. So as for how it shaders, this one shaders really well. Thank God. The only unfortunate part is the fact that the fur actually takes different colors from other fur uh, pieces. So, for example, like there is the fur from Season of the splicer specifically the playlist armor that's going to be different from the chest piece uh, fur and the boots just be aware of that that's the only thing that i can really uh say is a negative is the fact that the fur for the wolf kiss set does not coincide a lot of the times with other fur pieces other than that it shaders fine i see no problem if anything i think these pieces shader really well it's just the fur that really will give you a hard time and it will give you a hard time because I've I've used this set for a few pieces now. I think the chest piece I used for my which uh, the Iron Companion set as well. And again, I'll have that video up right now because that one's for the Titans. And for the chest piece, yeah, I had a lot of trouble combining the white fur because there's not a lot of pieces that gave me that really pure white fur. So. It's unfortunate that it does that, but it does do that. And I just want you to be aware of that. Other than that, I think a shader is fine. Personally, I think Abyssinian Gold looks amazing with it. Just be aware that the, the the plate does turn everything brown, which is not something I like. And I will be switching Abyssinian Gold to another shader, most likely Sato Tribe, since it is going to be available again. And that is one of my more favorite shaders in the game. So we'll see. And Echo Ranger, I think, looks cool as well. Just be aware again that uh, if you combine this with other first sets, it's going to be problematic. So make sure you have another shader that goes with it. And then last but not least, we have the Warlock, which again, I just think it's fucking well, I, you know what? Never mind. Now that I really think about it, it makes sense for Warlocks to get the the uh, whatever his name is, the first assassin from Assassin's Creed one. Altair, there we go. 
it makes sense for for warlocks to get the altair look it's just it, it it like rubs me the wrong way i guess because the only assassin's creed assassin armor in the game and warlocks got it and i'm just like why couldn't like first of all why'd you pick altair one of the worst assassins from assassin's creed like actually though and second i i personally think the order should have been hunters should get an assassin look specifically Ezio, because Ezio for me is the face of assassin's creed uh titans should have gotten sparta and warlocks i think should have gotten like the viking look but specifically like a like a shamanistic uh viking because i'm pretty sure they have that in the game like some shamanistic viking and that would have been cool i think that would have been super super cool give the helmet like uh like a deer with antlers and shit that would have been cool i know that's gonna look very samey as the exotic that we already have that's literally that but i think the stag but i just think it would have been way better or just not even the stag helmet just do like uh bones like like a veil and then just bones in front that would have been cool too i don't know like just oh, i'm just so annoyed that the first armor set that i buy from eververse is an armor set that i don't really care for the only one that i really was like this is the first one i'm buying was the titan one and then the hunter and warlock i was just like i fucking hate that i bought these but like i wanted to make this video and i also wanted to have some pieces of that set because again the hunter i like the cloak a lot i like the helmet a lot and then for the warlock i love the helmet i think the helmet's super super cool i think the chest is super super cool a lot of these pieces are super cool aside from the bond i think the bond is fucking terrible but other than that i think the arms are going to be super usable with like leather looks the chest piece is also pretty cool although i think the arms are a little too skinny the boots kind of boring but at the same time you can make it work with other pieces but i think the helmet and the chest piece and the arms are going to be like the really big pieces that a lot of people use but for me i think the helmet and the arms are going to be the pieces i'm going to be using a lot just because they have a little bit more variety and i can use it with other pieces i think the chest is just a little too assassin's creedy for me to combine it with other things that being said it's not that big a deal because it's still going to look cool uh, as for how it shaders it actually shaders pretty fine uh a lot of the pieces i'm just like yeah I, I expect this the plate armor on i mean it doesn't look like plate armor but it takes shaders as a plate armor for the the not waste the collarbone for the for the warlock and then the right pauldron that's all plate armor apparently even though i i don't see it and there's also some pieces on the uh the skirt as well that it that's taking plate armor color other than that i mean it's it's fine i don't i'm not mad about these colors to be quite honest i'm just kind of like whatever's a lot of the colors i'm like i expected this although the arms actually take it really well i don't see a lot of brown for abyssinian gold for the arms which is really cool very good considering i might use that with abyssinian gold uh boots also look really cool i mean i'm actually really excited to use abyssinian gold with the boots because all of that is black which means it's going to be really cool to put with an all black look but yeah uh i'm definitely excited for the helmet though the helmet is going to be super super usable and that's actually one of the better helmets that have like an open slot in the front because warlocks unfortunately just have that curse that every helmet has that but i think this is one of the better ones out there because there are some pretty trashy ones so warlocks let me know what you guys think classes which one do you think it got the best set personally i'm gonna lean towards titans i think titans just got the whole package not only is it cool it has fur it's very very fucking cool like it's if if the titans was like peak then hunters would be the lowest of the low i think i'm gonna like i know i'm being really brutal about it but i think the hunter set is probably the worst armor set in the game uh eververse speaking from eververse i think it's the worst set in the game uh, whoever designed this i'm not trying to bash you i'm not trying to say you don't have skill because i uh, it's hard to design armor i'm not gonna lie but i will say a lot of it just is not good and i know people are gonna bash me with oh well have you seen mystios or whatever his name is from assassin's creed the the game that it's inspired from it, it, like a lot of the armor is, is just there and i'm like that's fair but at the same time I don't think cloth was the way to go. I think at that point, just give the hunters like 
uh like a metallic body like almost like like a raiju's harness not right yeah raiju's harness where it's like like a, like a like an actual human torso but like very designed like very stylistic i think that should have been done for the hunters just all of the cloth pieces just should have been like human anatomy but like stylistic human anatomy so that way it can look not only that it would have also made sense because i know a lot of uh greece specifically had like a lot of like uh I don't know, dude. I'm just fucking mad about the Hunter set. I'm going to be real with you guys. I think this is the worst set in the fucking game. I hate it. But cloak and helmet look cool. So let me know what you guys think. I, I know I bashed tight Hunters really hard. But again, I think this is just the worst. I don't want to get to it. Be safe and I'll see you guys later.